Welcome back to my channel, The Candy Guy, where I talk about treats for the sweet tooth. Today, I'm going to talk about, actually today, a tour of the candy store. <laughs> so here's the front of the store, and let me show you the side. So here's where you enter, there's the front door. Here is the shaved ice window where you get your shaved ice and ice cream. There's a little bell for service. Now let's go in the store. There's a lot of people that watch my videos and they're nowhere near the Penny Candy Store and they always ask, I want to see the rest of the store. All you see is that part over there where I film. <laughs> so let me show you a little bit around. So the first thing you have to do when you enter the candy store is grab a basket. A lot of people just go straight for the candy and then their hands are filled with candy and they're like, uh, what do I do with the candy? Uh, basket. <laughs> so grab a basket and just start loading up candy or selecting reasonably. Don't go crazy. <laughs> but there's candy everywhere. This little round display has candy. There's baskets, uh, barrels of candy which we're really happy about our barrels. We love our barrels. There's a few that we have scattered throughout the store. They just add a nice little old feel to the candy store. <laughs> There's also a lot of gift items, but let's start moving along to the rest of the store. I'm right here down the aisle, right across from the door. We have little mini lollies and then jawbreakers, sour jawbreakers, um, rock candy on sticks, and then across from those, we have all our $1.50 little bags. These bags are all our different gummies and some hard candies that we have in bulk, but they sell quicker when we bag them up as a little bag. And oh my gosh, do they sell so fast. I feel like every other day we're making more and more bags to fill this section. <laughs> but there's just an assortment of different gummies, and I'll show you later where they are in bulk. So, we move along to this wall where we have a lot of our chocolate bars located. There's things that you usually find at a grocery store like Snickers and M&M's, Now and Laters, and then other things that you don't find at other grocery stores. The Big Cherries, the Cup of Gold, the Potato Sp the Idaho Spuds, there we go. <laughs> and there's just a lot of little candies at the bottom. And across from this wall are other candies. These little guys right there shows you we only have four options left for Pop Rocks. Hopefully I have a clip showing you how many Pop Rocks options we usually have. They're on order, so right now we're really low on a lot of flavors. Right here is a cool Coca-Cola fridge that we have. <laughs> if you notice, it's right here, this little opening. This used to be a doorway. It still is a doorway, but the fridge is in there. That way it seals off to the back. <laughs> right here, we have all our Mexican candy. The Mexican candy used to be on the other side of the store, but we've got two new suppliers for Mexican candy, so it's grown. Right now I'm showing you a clip which shows that these barrels used to have all our sugar free. Now the sugar free is a cost from the candy bars. And this section used to be a lot of our jelly bellies, now they're more Mexican candy. The store is always changing. I took different clips over the last few months to show you what the candy store looks like, but I realized like a lot of the things change. We sell a lot of things, we move things around. So it's not always the same candy store. And then we have some toys. Right here we have finger traps, soldiers, um, bomb bags, and older toys like marbles and jacks. And people ask, are the jacks plastic or metal? They're metal. And then we have a kazoo. Now, kids will buy kazoos and they'll blow in them like a whistle and they're like, oh, it's broken. No, it's a kazoo. You hum in it. So then, right here is the cash register, where you'll find me most of the time, <laughs> adding up your candy. Right below is the case. I'm not going to show you that right now because it's pretty much empty. We phase out our chocolates during the summer, but I'll show you a clip right now of what the display case usually is filled with. A bunch of different chocolate options that we get from the Lehman Candy Company. They hand make all our chocolates for us. Then across from the register, we have different chocolate options as well that are kind of 
covered in a candy shell, so they don't really worry about melting. But like chocolate covered almonds, chocolate covered peanuts, chocolate covered sunflower seeds, those are really good. Chocolate covered espresso beans, those are even better. <laughs> and then right here, like some gift items where they're salt and pepper shakers. And those sell like crazy. And then right behind this are other gift items where they're just small little collectibles that people just love to enjoy to collect. And then some greeting cards. So I'm going to speed up the tour a bit, hopefully, because I don't want to drag this out. But over here in this section, we then have different candies, old candies that people just really enjoy. Atomic Fireballs, Bit of Honey, Mary Jane's, things that people just don't see at regular grocery stores. Ch peanut Butter Bars, Chico Sticks, Root Beer Barrels, and then over here is our penny candy section that is now two cents. Yes, it had to go up, couldn't be a penny forever. 40 years of having candy for a penny, that's the sort of been here, and inflation, sorry people. But we have the Fruities, which are a big seller. Assorted bags of just the different two cent candies, which also has the Albert's Chews, which are hard taffy that then soften up. And then here's the bags of all the individual flavors if you just want certain ones. And then we have this little island of different candies. Oops, I didn't show you the suckers. Over here we have a bunch of suckers. And then the gummy like hamburgers, hot dogs. Those are weird, but they taste yummy. And those suckers. And then we have Laffy Taffy's, Airheads, and Warheads. And then these candy sticks, which are a big seller. People love them. Problem is they always come broken, a lot of them. And so there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, and then Saltwater Taffy. Saltwater taffy sells like crazy. And right across from the saltwater taffy, we have another barrel. So we have our taffy barrel and then another barrel, which right now has the salted caramel. And then there's a tiny one. And there's other candy here. We have the Zots. We have the Gold Nugget. We have Big League Chew. And then we have this one I haven't talked about yet. This is a candy cigarette or bubblegum cigarette. Um, a little controversial, haven't figured out how to do that video, don't know if I should. <laughs> and then there is a whole wall of all the candies. The gummies I showed you earlier, all those are right here. If you just want more than those small bags, here's in bulk and also some jawbreakers and other candies. There's our black licorice. People love their black licorice, so we have a large selection. <laughs> And then more can more gift items in the display case. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the candy store. This is for those of you that will maybe never be able to come visit. Sad, wish you could, but I know distance is a problem. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this little tour of the candy store. Now time for the outro. Thank you for watching this week's video of The Candy Guy. Links for the Penny Candy Store and myself will be in the description of this video. I post videos every Friday, so I shall see you all next Friday. Have a sweet day. Bye. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos, and also share if you'd like. Thank you.